Hi everyone, today we'll be talking about how we can get the data from multiple files in Clicksense Desktop. For the simplicity, I already created one folder connection. And in this file connection, file folder, I already placed Excel, different Excel files. And these Excel files have same structure of the data, but in the uh, data itself is differ. To show the file format, I'm getting the data from one of the Excel file, and this is structure. This is column names, and we have file pass, and we we have here file format. As mentioned, this Excel file has the same file format. Here, f this file format is not going to change. What's changing for each file is file pass. For this, I have to create some kind of function to retrieve file pass for each file. For this we have function called file list. I am creating for loop for each and giving it as a variable as a file in and giving it file list and here I am adding just only folder connection which file which folder I would like to get the data. So teach my folder call the connection. This folder connection is as you can see here folder connection name. So I am telling here all. This sign, star sign, is means that I would like to get all files from this uh, folder. Then I am telling uh, next file. This is needed because I would like to get through all each files. And then I am telling here trace this file this function should return each file pass what's going to change for each file this load the data uh, it, we load the data so we are able to see each file pass so we have as a value then what's needed here so we can tell here load this column names, this uncommented, and try it once more. Just load this column names from uh, as this file, this returns file pass. I'm adding here file pass. Then I'm adding additional here this connection, uh, this uh, format of each file. This is um, important. And here, let's so this comment it once more. And this loads the data once more. And we are loading the uh, file. As we see here, we are adding the same structure. So we are getting the file data for this file, then second, and then we have the same structure of file. As you can see, the total line is going to change after each load. It's already done. So let's see if we have data here. So as you can see, data country. I didn't add all the columns here. It's not necessary, I guess. So we have the date. So all of the files here is Excel format. But imagine that we have additional one file there. This other connection. Imagine that we have additional one file this GVD file in this um, list of the file. Then if we would like to load the data once more from these files, we will get error. We are error we are getting because in GVD format, we don't need uh, this Excel, I could say, file format. So we have to somehow exclude and this GVD uh, file format or we have to tell to the click sense that get on the file ending with some endings. Here we are. We are adding here in this format. This will return on the file with Excel format. So we don't have any uh, error. Then we don't see any GVD file is all loaded. We can get, get a little bit far. We can tell load only where we have dot separator so 
if you look at the file list, we see that some file is separated with the line. But we would like to get the data only with the dot separated with dot. This dot. Let's load data. Here, file oh, total line is already changed because we are getting the data only with dot separators. This is all about getting the uh, file data from multiple files. Thank you for joining us today. See you at the next video.